Today we have reported on the progress we have made in deploying and implementing airport carbon accreditation. Airport carbon accreditation is a unique uh, institutionally endorsed program that assesses and recognizes the efforts made by airport to uh, reduce their carbon emission and to go towards carbon neutrality. What we've done, we've created a standard, an industry standard, uh, a tool that allows our members to work on their individual commitment towards uh, carbon neutrality. Uh, and through that system, we're incentivizing airports to always improve their performance because they can move up the later and to up to the best level of, of performance, uh, the best level of accreditation, which is the neutrality level. When you have a common accreditation program that follows common rules, a common structure, a common standard, uh, you can there compare things uh, and, and, and make sure that you can report uh, collectively the achievements. We have now 22 airports that have become airport carbon accredited over the last 15 months. These airports account for 26% of European air traffic, so it's a very good result already to have 26% of the market accredited in this program and through their participation uh, we have saved already 400 and more than 410,000 tons of CO2 in just 15 months. We have of course uh, big names and big guys in there. We have Paris Charles de Gaulle, we have Frankfurt Airport, we have Amsterdam Schiphol. Uh, we just received the application to the program of London Heathrow, which is uh, the biggest airports in the world in terms of international traffic, so that's a very good move. But it's not just about the big guys and the big airports. Uh, we also have a lot of secondary airports and increasingly a lot of regional airports joining the program, so that really shows that we have a fit for purpose program that fits the, the request, the needs of, of the entire airport industry. Institutional uh, backup means that we got a formal recognition by Eurocontrol and ECAG, uh, the European uh, Civil Aviation Conference, and that in addition we have an advisory board which oversees the program, which is composed of experts from these institutions but also the European Commission, representative of WWF and of UNEP. This is very important for the credibility of the scheme, external credibility of course, to be recognized by our other aviation partners and beyond. By by the public, uh, but it is also equally very important for the internal credibility of the scheme to allow us to engage more and more airports and attract them in the program. Of course, the bulk of the, of the emissions are made by aircraft in flight. Uh, airport operations roughly account for about 5% of the total aviation contribution to climate change, or 5% of the total emissions. So it's a small part, but nevertheless, it's a part you need to address. Uh, and, and this is our contribution to the overall aviation industry efforts and, and the commitment we have subscribed uh, through ATAG.